Hello and welcome. This hat is super easy and fast to make. I give you instruction in every detail, so even if you never crochet before, you can just grab your tools and follow me. To make this hat, you're gonna need scissors, yarn needle, a 7mm crochet hook, and a 5.5mm crochet hook. Because this is a tutorial for beginners that's why we using a bigger hook for our foundation change if you are a intermediate or at a higher level of crochet you can use just this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and you're gonna use chainless single crochet foundation for the hat instead of a normal chain Last but not least, you're gonna need yarn in size 2.5 millimeter. This one I'm using here is acrylic yarn. It is nice, soft, and fluffy. Uh, sometimes this called baby acrylic yarn because it's fluffy and soft. Some acrylic yarn can be very rough and stiff. So I recommend you use this soft nice fluffy it is very easy to use and it's just better than a rough type of yarn uh, we making a stripe hat in this video that's why we need two color if you just want to make a plain one a plain hat one color i also gonna show you how to keep on going with one color before i show you how to change color to make a stripe one First, we're gonna use this 7mm crochet hook to make a chain of 58. I found out that this chain of 58 would create an average size hat for adult. Um, however, different types of yarn has different degrees of stretchiness. So after you made your 58 chain, I will show you how to Try the chain on your hat just to make sure that the hat will fit your head. To make a chain first, you make a slip knot. You hold your yarn like this. This is the tail of the yarn and this is the yarn from your ball of yarn. You're gonna make a, a loop with your finger and then you pull the yarn from the yarn ball through that loop. And now you put the slip knot on your hook. So the loop on your hook should always be as close to the size of the hook as possible. It shouldn't be too loose and shouldn't be too tight that it's hard to work with. It should have just enough space so that you can pull the hook out of the loop. Now to make chains, you simply yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And we're gonna make 58 of this. Four, five, six, seven. Now you can try this chain on your head. You hold on to um, two ends and stretch it all out, then wrap it over your head. This stretch out chain should just a little bit bigger than your head. It should be just about an inch bigger than your head. No more, no less. Now, if the chain is a bit bigger than you wanted, then you're just gonna pull a few out two out and you can try this chain again on your head uh, if it's smaller than your head then you can put more chain in right and just try it until you get what you want in case you find it hard to try the chain or you just need some reference you can use this chart to find the number of chains for your hat however as I said before Different types of yarn has different degrees of stretchiness, so there might be a little judgment you need to make in reality. So you see, this is the front of the chain. 
each chain shaped like a little V. This is the back of the chain. It has little bumps on each chain. Now, we're going to join this chain into a circle so that we can crochet our hat in the round. To do that, you put your chain in a circle like this and all of the front of the chain face out. And the back of the chain should face in. Now you're going to see two ends mid here. Both of it face up, right? From now on, we're going to use this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook to work our hat. We don't need this anymore. So, to connect this chain, we're going to use a slip stitch. You're going to insert your hook into this first chain, the first V, and into this very top loop of the chain. Like that. And then you're going to pull, you're going to yarn over, pull our loop, and pull that loop through the loop on your hook. That is how you join a chain with a slip stitch. From now on, we're going to work double crochet into each of these chains until the end of this round. First, we're going to chain two. One, two, and our first double crochet, we will work into this very first chain that we made the slip stitch. So, to work a double crochet, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull our loop, now you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, pull through two loops. Yarn over again, pull through two loops. That's how you finish a double crochet. Okay, again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now the next one, the next V, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the top loop, pull our loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do the same thing in each of this change until the end of this round. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull our loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now I have only three chain left to work in. One, two, three. So I'm gonna work three more. Yes, normal. And and this last one. Okay, now we're going to join this first round together. And to do that, we're going to use a slip stitch. You're going to insert your hook into the chain 2 that you made at the beginning, here. Pull our loop, and pull that loop through the one on your hook. That's how you join them, with a slip stitch. Okay. The hat that I'm making, it's a striped one, and here is when I'm gonna 
change color, insert another color and work with another color for the second round. But for those who want to make a plain hat, I'm going to show you how to keep on going. So you change two and you're going to work double crochet into each of these double crochet stitch of your first round. This is the body of your chain, which also called the post of a stitch. And this is the top of the stitch. Here is where you want to insert your hook to work another stitch. So you yarn over, insert your hook here, pull out a loop, pull through two, pull through two, right? And just keep on going work into each of this stitch okay so after you join this round with uh, a slip stitch this is where you want to change your color okay I'm just gonna do it again so you finish your last stitch you insert your hook into this chain 2 that you made in the first place pull our loop and pull that loop through the one on your hook also okay now you're gonna take your second color okay so now you're gonna take your second color you lose this loop a little bit you slip the second color into this loop and tie it okay you gonna use this previous color pull it and now you're gonna start working with this new color this previous color, don't cut it, just drop it and leave it right there. We're gonna come back to it later. Now, now that you have your new color, insert your hook in in this in this place, right? This is the chain two. This is the first double crochet stitch. Insert your hook in here, pull out a loop. Now you're gonna chain two. One, two. And you're gonna work double crochet into each of this stitch with your new color. Yarn over. This is the pose of your first stitch, which also the body of the stitch. This is the top of the stitch. And here is where you insert your hook. Pull out a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Okay, again. Yarn over. Insert your hook. Pull out a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And just keep doing that until the end of the row. So I have just a few stitch left to work in. One, two, so only two left. Okay, so that is my last one. In the end of each row, you will see this will be your last stitch. Sometime this chain two. Um, you can mistake it with a chain and work an extra stitch in this one but don't um, this is your last stitch and work in that only so now again we're gonna uh, finish this row by joining it with a slip stitch you insert your hook into the chain 2 pull out a loop and pull that loop through the loop on your hook okay so now we're gonna change color again into this uh, previous color that we dropped, right? So now you're gonna drop your second color. Just leave it there and we're gonna come back to it in the next row. Pick up your first color. 
and pull a loop out with that color and you're gonna grab this second color tight it right just like that and now we're gonna work this next row with the first color I'm gonna change two and work double crochet all again into each of this stitch until the end of the row in the beginning of each row you will work your first stitch in here this is your first stitch uh, and work it in on top of that stitch right sometime this slip stitch will take up a little bit the space of the first stitch and it will look smaller than the other stitches and um, you might skip the stitch without knowing so just make sure that in the beginning you don't skip this first stitch so yarn over insert your hook into the first stitch pull out a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we're gonna do that all again so now I'm gonna show you one more time how to um, join this row and alternately change your color after each row you insert your hook here in the behind the chain two pull out loop pull that loop to the loop on your hook that's how you join with a slip stitch now you're gonna drop this color that you're working on that you've been working on pick up your second color pull a loop out with the new color then you're gonna pull on this first color pull it tight and now you work with your second color change two now you're gonna repeat the process work double crochet until until the end of the row join with a slip stitch change color all again until you have um, 17 of this double crochet row so one two three we have 14 more and I see you then if you enjoy my tutorial don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel I'm already working on the next tutorial and other crochet content and if you have any question feel free to comment down below and I will reply as soon as I can okay so I have reached the last row of my piece which is the 17th row and I ran out of yarn so if this happened to you too I'm gonna show you how to join um, this yarn that you run out with the new one we're gonna use matching knot to do this you're gonna put you're gonna make a knot with you're gonna make two knots one with this new yarn like this you just make sure that it this tail go this way and then on this you're gonna make the same knot It's a slim, simple knot. Just make sure that the tail go the other way. So now you have two knots. Make sure that you tie it nicely, as tight as you can. This two. And now you're gonna hold on to this and pull the knot together against each other. This way. The knot it's really secure and you can cut really close to the knot then you can keep going keep on going with your project okay so now that I have reached the end of my last row I have 
one last stitch of the 17th row I'm gonna work that last stitch and now we're gonna join this last, last row with a slip stitch as normal but to bind off we're gonna use both color for the slip stitch so you insert your hook bring out a loop with both stitch bring that loop through the loop on your hook and chain one and cut and pull that tail out and tie this and that's how you bind off As you can see, uh, in the end of each row, we finish the row with a slip stitch and then we change two. It kind of creates this diagonal line instead of a ver vertical one and it's completely fine because we, we did the easiest way to join a row. So it's just like that and I think it's fine. It's going to be the back of the hat and this will be the front of the hat. Now, we have two last things to do. We're gonna create the top of the hat by sewing um, either of this size, the size with your last row or the side with your foundation change. And then we're gonna weave all this end in the piece and that's how we done this hat. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna sew the sign with the last um, double crochet row and this foundation chain part will be the folding part like that okay now to sew we're gonna use yarn needle we're gonna take a yarn and we're gonna need it to be longer than this Put it in our needle and now make sure that your head is nice and even and now insert your needle here. Tie this, this till here. Okay. And now we're gonna sew with mattress stitch. We're gonna align stitch by stitch. Here you can see um, the little V's and this other loop inside this uh, the outside loop we are just gonna sew with the inside loop and you put your needle here and then here and then here all the way until the end. Okay, so now it's the last one. And before we finish, we not we gonna uh, you want to before you finish you want to stretch this out so that no there will be no bunch up no stitch 
bunch up I don't know so it shouldn't be bunched up and you want to stretch it all out like this and now you're gonna finish by just insert your needle from the inside to the side all the way out but don't pull all the way just leave a loop and then bring your needle back to that loop into that loop and secure it now you can now we're gonna hide this end back into the wrong side of your hat Okay, so just put that in here and bring it inside like that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to weave all the ends in. So you're gonna use your needle. You put your ends in the needle like in the needle like this. And then you're gonna weave this into the same colors of stitches. Just put it anywhere. That you feel like it's gonna be good for you. Just put it anywhere. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> And then you can cut it off and then do the same with everything else like this one you're gonna put it maybe in here This is probably my least favorite part of any crochet project, but we have to do it anyway, so just like that and you weave everything, every ends in and then your hat is finished. If it's so short like this and you cannot work it you can also use uh, your yarn needle to weave it in so you insert your hook into this stitch and you pull your ends okay. out the stitch why is it stuck? I don't know like that and like that and then you can just cut it off like that okay so let's say that we weave this in already let's pretend like that so it's finished you can just fold it up and try it this is the back and this is the front. Done!